Okay, so let's have this topic. So, verbal sentence to mathematical sentence. So, these are the keywords. We have for addition, plus the sum, increase by, and more than. For subtraction, we have this minus, difference, decrease by, and less than. For multiplication, we have times of product. And for division, that's quotient and divide. So we have this problem. So let x represent a number. So this one is a verbal sentence and the mathematical sentence. So the sum of a number and 7 is 21. Now since we let x represent a number, so therefore, this a number is x. And the sum, this one is plus, then is, this one is equal. So to change this one in mathematical sentence, so that's x plus 7 is equal to 21. Then for is given, so twice the number is 67. So again, this number is x. This twice, this one is 2. And this is, is equal. So in mathematical sentence, 2x is equal to 67. Then a number increased by one third of a number is 9. So a number, this one is x, increased by, this one is plus, then one third, that's one third, this of, that's multiplication, then the number, this one is x, is, this one is equal, so therefore in mathematical sentence, x plus one third of x is equal to 9. Then 6 less than twice the number is 15. Now you need to be careful on this statement because this 6 less than twice the number, this means that twice the number minus 6. So that becomes 2x minus 6, that's equal to 15. Then for this 9 more than twice the number, so 9 more than twice the number, so that means twice the number plus 9 because this one is more than. Then we have is, this one is equal, then 5 less than the number, so 5 less than the number, this means that's x minus 5. So mathematical statement now, that's 2x plus 9 equals x minus 5. Then for this problem, so translate the following sentence into equation, use x as a variable to represent the number. So we have this given, so the perimeter of a rectangle is 54, when the length of the rectangle is twice the width. Now since to get the perimeter of a rectangle, so perimeter of a rectangle, that's 2 length plus 2 width. Now since our variable is x, and since in the problem, the length is twice the width, so if width is x, so therefore, this length is 2x. So the equation now, we have the perimeter is 54. So 54 is equal to 2 length and length is 2x. So that's 2 times 2x plus 2 w, w is x plus 2x. So this is now the equation. Then the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 21. So formula for the perimeter of a triangle, that's A plus B plus C. Now since equilateral triangle, so A equal to B and also equal to C. So the equation now, since the perimeter is 21, this one is the perimeter. So 21 is equal to X because we're using X as a variable plus x plus x. So this is now the equation. But if you want to simplify, so we can say 21 is equal to 3x. Then for this given, so the sum of two consecutive integers is 29. Now, since our variable is x, so if we let x our first integer, so therefore, since consecutive, so x plus 1 is the second 
integer. So to write now the equation, since the sum is 29, so we have our first integer plus the second integer, that's x plus 1. The sum is 29, so this one is equal to 29. This is now the equation. But if you want to simplify, this becomes 2x plus 1 equals 29. Then for this given, so the sum of two consecutive even integers is 162. So again, we let x be our first uh, integer. Now since even, so even and odd, the distance between the two consecutive numbers is 2. So for the second integers, that's x plus 2. So again, the distance between the two consecutive integers for even and odd is 2. That's why the second integers should be plus 2. So the equation now, we have this, the sum is 162. So the first uh, integer plus the second even integers, that's x plus 2. And that's equal to 162. But if you want to simplify, you can add this 2x, then plus 2 equals 162. Then for this given, so 4 times a number increased by 8 is 54. So 4 times a number, so this number is x. So the equation now, that's 4x. Then increased by, this one is plus, so plus 8 is 54. This is now the equation. Then uh, cut a 60 centimeter ribbon into two such that one part is one third of the other. So if we let x be the first part and the second part, that's one third of the other. So therefore, one third of x, this one is the second part. So to create now an equation, we can say that the first part plus the one-third of the part is equal to 60. So this is now the equation.